Hey everyone, I am Big Papa Foot and I am back with another unboxing and review. This time it is from Workos. It is a brand new light called the TS28. I wanna say thank you so much to Workos for sending out this light. It is brand new on the market for October 2025. Will be coming out very soon. I do not know the exact release date. This is one of the very first looks at this brand new light from Workos. You do have the standard packaging has the information you can pause right there has the information on the side all right nothing left inside you'll find the readme notification that says remove the paper insulation so your light works when you receive it this is a very new model, so your box and instructions might look slightly different. However, this is the TS28 user manual. Very easy to use UI. Comes with a standard lanyard. Comes with a USB-C to USB-C charging cable. And the light itself. There you go. And for any of you fans of Sofern, you might be thinking it looks a lot like Sofern's SC33 model. And it does. If you look inside there, you'll actually see the SFT 70.2 LED. 3,200 lumens with a beam distance of 506 meters. That's half a kilometer of throw. Or if you're in the States here, a little over a quarter of a mile. An amazing beam distance. It only weighs 112 grams. Just when you thought this light couldn't get any better, it has amazing knurling alongside the body. And to make this light even better, it does have a magnet on the end. We actually want to test out the magnet strength. So let's go ahead and uh, I have a CJRB Sasaya knife here. So I can't really do my normal shake test that I would normally do, um, but... Yeah, it has a uh, fairly strong magnet on it. So nice, that is awesome. And then again, inside, you'll want to unthread the end cap, take out the insulation paper, throw that away, and you will find a Workos brand 21700 lithium ion 5000 milliamp hour battery. Very nice coiled spring inside. Not much give to it. And just taking a look really quick here, the flashlight, again, nice thick coiled spring. So good quality, has nice threading, nice machining all the way around. It feels really good to hold in your hand. nice lubricant oil on the outside and get this back together so in this light does not have the rgb capabilities that some of the other workos lights do uh, this does have a green button and then once battery is depleted it will turn yellow and then red depending on what level of battery you're at so and then you have usb type c charging under the silicone plug you have the TS28 branding, and of course you have your directional information for your battery. So the dimensions of this light are actually 129 millimeters or about 5.08 inches long. And then the head of the flashlight is actually 36 millimeters, which is roughly 1.42 inches in diameter, which makes it very pocketable for EDC. I am going to shut off the light here real quick. Unfortunately, right now, that's as much light as I can turn off. On September 10th, I had major foot surgery, so I'm unable to close the window, get out of bed. I'm not able to do much right now. This entire review is actually being filmed from my bed right now. I'm having to spend about 23 and a half hours a day in bed. And uh, so, yeah, this is my setup. Unfortunately, that's as dark as we can make it right now. I got a few things out of the way. Let's go ahead and turn on the light and take a look at the beam pattern. 
very nice. So right here, you have three lumens for 330 hours. That is eco mode. Going up to low, 45 lumens for 72 hours. Medium, 250 lumens for 13 hours and 45 minutes. <clears throat> Going up to high, 950 lumens for 89 minutes. And then it'll actually step down to 400 lumens for 85 minutes. And then 250 lumens for another 95 minutes. And then turbo, 3,200 lumens. Wow, that is that that beam is powerful. That that is an awesome beam right there. I can already tell I'm going to be carrying this light for the foreseeable future. So turbo is 3,200 lumens for one minute. It steps down to 950 lumens for 115 minutes, then steps down again to 400 lumens for 35 minutes and then finishes off at 250 lumens for 20 minutes. And then the heat dissipation with the head of the flashlight, you have the fins off to the side. That's gonna help with the heat dissipation overall. So I've had this on turbo the full minute, and yes, it's fairly warm from, from about here to the end of the flashlight, it is warm. Um, it is still definitely manageable um, depending on your Tolerance of holding warm things. Um, for me, it's still definitely manageable. Uh, it does get warm though, so just be cautious, please. It also has memory mode. And then whatever mode you're in, double tapping will take it to that instant 3,200 lumens. And whatever mode you are in, triple tapping will take it instantly to strobe. Nice 3,200 lumen blinding tactical strobe. I am curious just to see what the beam spread looks like. Again, that SFT 70.2 is such a great, oh, uh, I, I can see just with the beam on the door in my room, it is so powerful. I did want to make mention that coming up here within the next day or two, around October 11th or 12th, I will have aerial drone video beam shots of this light. So stay tuned for that. So my thoughts so far on this light is very usable, very formidable pocket EDC. So this review is not paid for. This light was sent to me for review from Workos, but nobody gives me a script. This review is not paid for. These are my own thoughts and opinions about this light. And indoors, it lights up the room. Uh, the beam is very nice and tight. Uh, it's got a clean, focused hotspot with nice, usable spill. Absolutely, this light would be perfect if you're in law enforcement, security, uh, if you have a farm or maybe a, just a bigger property, or honestly, just for home self-defense, home defense, this light right here is really, really great. I can't wait to see this thing from the sky and actually take my DJI Mini 4 Pro, fly it up in the air and see what the beam pattern looks like from about 200 feet and 400 feet. I work goes really hit it out of the park with this light right here. And just quickly, because I don't have many things near me uh, that I'm able to actually make for size comparisons with this light, um, the 21700 Molly Cell P45B battery. So that's what that looks like. Just to give you some sort of comparison. I love that tactical strike head on the end. Very nice, beautiful glass. So in here we have the brand new Workos TS27. You can see this is actually very massive. And this is the massive 15,000 milliamp hour battery. Comes with the Workos TS27. So again, I'll have a review coming up here in the next few days for that light. Also, one thing I want to check out and see, and I 
think I probably don't even have to do this, but let's go ahead and take a look and see if you're in a survival situation and you maybe need to use this uh, to start a fire. If it'll smoke, I'm pretty positive it will. Let's go into turbo mode. And... Yeah, so you have maybe, what, six or seven, eight seconds there. Yeah, that is... Uh, for sure powerful and yeah it for sure would light a fire so there you go great in a survival situation could absolutely light dry leaves or cardboard on fire uh, if you were in a survival situation and needed to use this and i want to say thank you very much to workos for sending this awesome light out if you enjoyed this video please leave me a thumbs up share this with your friends and family thank you everyone for joining me and i'll see you on the next video